I hope you enjoyed the video, but how about I just spend some time telling you what just happened. This is the LEGO Technic Mac LR electric garbage truck, and I've motorized it using some standard LEGO components. And of course, I'm controlling it using the remote control from the LEGO City trains. This is all made possible using Pybrex. I have made other videos with Pybrex. If you want to do this yourself, I've made programming for it that you can just use. And I link to both Pybrex, the code, and another video of mine showing you how to program it in the description below. I find that this garbage truck is the most interesting of the new LEGO Technic sets that just came out here in the beginning of 2024. I just wanted to see if I could make it truly electric and not just non-electric as it is out of the box. With Pybrex, you can actually program everything from the City Hub, the Spike Essential, the Technic Hub, the Boost Hub, and of course, the Spike Prime or the Inventor Hub that I have inside of this model right now. The Essential Hub and the City Hub only have two ports, so I couldn't really use them even though they are nice and small as I need three motors. The Boost Hub does allow you to use three motors because it has two internal, but its form factor didn't really fit this model. The Technic Hub would have fit nicely inside of this model, but it is a bit too bulky and would have been poking out somewhere. So I went for the Inventor Hub, even though it is quite an expensive solution. The hub is placed here in the back, and as you can see, it really fills up all of the space. The cables are poking out here on the top, and if you look closely on the side, you can see that it's poking out below and it's really just above the wheels and actually touching the motor in the back. Given that it has to take so much space, the function here isn't perfect anymore. Luckily, there's so much space in the back that you can still use it for its intended function. So it's still a toy that isn't completely compromised. Let's take a look at how the motors have been incorporated inside. First, I take off this side here, then the top this little tray, and here you can see one of the motors. It is simply going directly to the arm. It's a nice and simple mechanism that LEGO has shown us before. I believe first time might have been in Control Center 1, where it was used for a crane. This motor is from a Spike Essential set. It only really comes in that set, and it isn't really available for ordinary retail, but it is super compact and perfect for me to just put into this model. Similarly, you can see the other Spike Essential motor here poking a bit out for controlling the steering. This, neither the steering are connected anymore because these do not have an axle that turns on the back side, only on the front. Unlike the other angular motors, which have both axles in the front and on the back that actually turn. Let's see if we can get into the motor in the front. And here it is and I can control it using the remote. The model really doesn't steer that much. I recommend seeing if you can modify the steering so that it can steer even more because that would definitely make the model more fun to play around with. The final function of opening and closing doors has not been changed at all. If you want to motorize your own garbage truck, then I definitely recommend using the Technic Hub instead and just have it poke out of the top. These motors are super hard to come by, which is why I recommend simply using such a small motor here instead. This can easily power the arm and you can easily place one for the steering as well. They might poke out just a little bit, but does it really matter? I don't really think so. I just wanted to make the optimal setup for this model right here. And that is it for this video. Let's end with some outtakes.